Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look at the euro currency again. So uh, yesterday as you can see market has shown some minor downward continuation but uh, we have discussed our assumption that probably this should happen because on the infrared charts if you remember uh, we, we yesterday we, we had uncompleted major hourly XLP targets 1618 extension. We said it's logical to see that market should hit it before any other sign will signs will appear so any reversal uh, signs uh, could be uh, used uh, only after market will hit this target uh, that's why from the technical point of view market has done all preliminary steps for possible upside reversal the, the last thing that market should form here is a clear bullish reversal pattern. but this is only from the technical point of view guys Fundamental, you probably know all this turmoil around the tariffs war between the China and the United States. And um, yesterday, the, the dollar uh, has, trade, uh, has become more strong because uh, you probably heard that the uh, United States again uh, intends to apply the tariffs to more than 130,000 uh, mo more Chinese goods. And uh, that makes investors worry about the possible overall scale of this um, mutual strikes between the China and the United States in, 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 in the mutual trade. So uh, that supports as Japanese yen as United States dollar compared to other currencies. That's why although the technically maybe uh, euro stands in the moment where uh, it could turn up but uh, as you understand all technical factors right now uh, are ruled by the fundamental uh, situation and by geopolitical tensions. So it means that we, we definitely will keep an eye on the situation that is going on here, but uh, don't be too fascinating with the possible upward reversal. So use only clear patterns if they will be formed here around uh, current levels. So. Uh, if market will not form any bullish reversal sign here and continue move down, the breaking of the C point will erase this potential A B C D pattern that's still valid, and in general that will become very significant moment for overall bullish pic overall picture on the daily chart because breaking through the C point could turn short term stop into bearish uh, because market actually will form here downside reversal swing so it will form lower low so in this tendency it, it was forming the uh, high highs and high lows but here is this lower lows will be formed and that will be negative uh, moment for uh, daily stop on your currency that's why here we just could repeat the same thing that your current stands in the final uh, point when the, the edge where it still could turn situation to the upside but that's just the last opportunity here. Uh, so on the 4-hour time frame chart, you can see that market is coiling around the major FIP uh, support is 22.77. Here we have some double uh, di divergences, the different scales. So first divergence is hidden uh, between these lows, while here we also have minor divergence is forming, although trend here still stands bearish, but in general you could recognize this potential divergence also is forming. This is really uh, not very important tool, but it exists. Uh, but it doesn't make the overall uh, strategies that we need clear bullish passion to be formed. So on the hourly chart, uh, yesterday we said that it's not really a good idea to rely on the grabbers on the follow time frame chart because they were formed when European market actually was closed and all European Union uh, had the rest due to the Easter holiday. And uh, it seems that we were correct because market indeed has dropped yesterday by our godless triple to sell. You probably remember here 
we have got this triple just sell and indeed market finally has reached the XLP target of this ABC patient that we have discussed. Uh, at the same time, market still stands in the downward tendency, so it's forming lower lows and lower highs. Um, and currently, we do not have any clear bullish patterns in place. So, usually, when the market creates the price behavior of, of this kind of this shape, most important, most probable uh, bullish pattern that could be formed here is, of course, the head and shoulders, because that could become the large left shoulder. Now it could become the head market will return it back up here, it will be the, the, at least something, some confirmation that indeed this could be, could happen. Uh, because market mostly right now stands at some extension from, from this swing, you can see most almost 1618, that's very typical for hand shoulders patient. So that's what we need to keep an eye on here. Currently guys, I do not see any attractive mm, signs for taking long position, so your currency shows nothing right now. Uh, we need to, to get more confirmation, at least the breakout of this tendency of the lower lows and lower highs. Returning back to the area around 23.45, 23.50 maybe. That will give us at least something, some hint that probably bullish reversal is possible. And uh, most probable patient that could be formed here is a uh, uh, hand reverse hand shoulders. So, as I said, currently I do not see something that could make me think about taking the long position right now. So let's keep watching, we'll see what will happen. So this week we will get the ADP report, we will get non-farm payrolls, and so maybe the situation will change.